The more infectious Delta variant of COVID-19 is now in Wyandotte County. Good evening, I'm Haley Harrison. Tonight, the Unified Government Health Department confirms 22 new cases and one new death. KMCN's Jackson Kurtz spoke with the county's top epidemiologist about who is at the greatest risk. 22 new cases of the contagious Delta variant in Wyandotte County. Health officials say most Delta cases in the county are people not fully vaccinated. Um, I think it's very possible that once the Delta variant spreads within um, a community like Wyandotte that has very low vaccination rates, that it could spread very quickly. Chief epidemiologist Elizabeth Gronwick says more than half of the new Delta cases are people 30 years old and under the age group with the lowest vaccination rates. True, I think that a lot of younger people have maybe been holding off on getting vaccinated because they don't feel um, like it's important or that COVID's a risk for them. As of yesterday, only 31% of people have been fully vaccinated in Wyandotte County. I kind of think of places like Wyandotte County that have low vaccination rates as sitting ducks when it comes to the Delta variant. To limit the spread of the variant, especially heading into the busy holiday weekend, Grunwick says you can get vaccinated as soon as tomorrow to receive some level of protection from the virus and for those unvaccinated to continue to wear a mask. But if we continue to push to get more people vaccinated and people make the right choice to get vaccinated, that we can change the course that we're on right now. In Wyandotte County, Jackson Kurtz, KNBC 9 News. And the Unified Government says most people with the Delta variant had symptoms that ranged anywhere from mild to severe. Health officials say that the Delta variant makes up roughly a quarter of new COVID cases nationwide right now. The White House plans to send federal response teams to COVID hotspots. Missouri may be one of the first places to get that help. Hospital bed space now a big concern. Doctors at the University of Kansas Health System say local hospitals are filling up with patients who need care for normal medical problems and a rise in new COVID patients is compounding the issue. We're not usually this full in June, but we're really full mm. and everybody's really full. So if we have a surge, Trouble will come a lot sooner this time than it did the last time. There are 12 patients with the virus at the health system. Five of them are in the ICU and four are on ventilators. If you want your child to be fully vaccinated before they go back to school, you need to act fast. It could take weeks for immunity to build up. A doctor at Children's Mercy Hospital says parents have to factor that in. You should be thinking today about walking into your nearest pharmacy and getting a COVID shot for your child to allow them to develop that immunity in time for going back to school. Dr. Barbara Pehude is leading clinical tests for a vaccine for children 11 and younger, and she says the early results are reassuring. Several people in Independence got the vaccine right before watching a movie. The city held a vaccine clinic in the same place as tonight's Moonlight movie on the square. Both the Pfizer and Johnson and Johnson vaccines were offered no appointment needed. We've had a lot of families who have said, you know, we, we want to get a vaccine, but the clinics tend to be open during the day. So when we uh, proposed uh, having an evening clinic just to see what that was like, got a lot of positive comments. Tonight's event was a partnership with the Jackson County Health Department.